Thank you very much. It is true, after that resume, you can tell that I am a professional smart aleck. This is my job. Now, my sixth grade teacher told me I could never make a living as a comedian. So every year I go home, I call her up, I tell her how much I make, I laugh, I hang up. That's what I do. So <laughs> it's like, bam. <laughs> She's in a nursing home. She has no idea who I am. <laughs> but it just feels good to do it. Now, as a professional smart aleck, I get called to do a lot of charities, a lot of events. And I was doing one such event, and the, and the group asked me to pray before the meal. I said, okay. But they said, we're a government-sponsored organization, so we can't have you say any particular deity's name. I said, all right, well, I'm, I'm in the middle of a prayer, and I realize I have no idea how to get out of this prayer. So it's just getting longer and longer and longer, and eventually I said, we pray these things in your name. Hopefully you know who you are. So. <laughs> One of my favorite topics is to discuss the difference between today's culture and how most of us grew up. And, and people ask me why there's such a difference. I say the answer is simple. Our parents didn't care if we were happy. <laughs> That's it. It's real simple. It's like our parents came out of World War II and Korea, and their job was to toughen us up. When we got hurt, we did not have soothing aloe vera. We did not have Bactine. No, we had methylate. <laughs> okay, you remember that? Red sulfuric acid in a bottle. Burn through the cut to the other side of your arm. Nazis would not use this. It was too cruel for the Nazis. You could, you could come home with your arm hanging by a thread, and you would not complain. No, you would not. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm A-OK. -okay. That needs methylate. No, it doesn't. I am good. We got hurt because everything we did was dangerous. Our swing sets did not have safety belts on them. The goal was to get as high as you could get and then launch yourself into the stratosphere. <laughs> Our jungle gyms did not have padding. We had rocks. Rocks the janitor sharpened at night because he hated us. We'd come home from school, hop on our bikes, go off riding without helmets, without shoes, sometimes without clothes. We didn't care. Everything we did was dangerous. We played in creeks. We ran through abandoned houses. We jumped on trampolines without signing waivers first. We <laughs> drove our go-kart directly into traffic. We played lawn darts where we stood next to the target. Remember that? <laughs> Missed. We didn't have sunblock. We got burned to a crisp and we had peeling parties. That's what we had. We blew up Barbies with M80s. We had gunfights with BB guns. We ran with scissors. We ate paint chips when we were hungry. Our Halloween costumes were made out of asbestos, for goodness sake. But for safety, our mothers made us wait an hour after we ate before we swam. That was it. Today's kids can't even play hide-and-seek. They all have cell phones. They're text messaging each other. It's like, Billy's behind the rock. LOL, there he is. Oh, God. Uh, this next Tuesday, my wife and I will be married for 37 years, so not bad. <laughs> not trying to be cautiously optimistic, but I think we just might make it. <laughs> we have moved from forgive and forget straight to forget. That's where we are right now. It's like, I'm mad at you. I really wish I could remember why. <laughs> Our dinnertime arguments have begun to resemble congressional hearings. Uh, I have no recollection of the altercation and discussion. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny my participation in those events. Please pass the peas. <laughs> you may think that sports are exciting, but I seriously believe that no sporting event in the world compares to the battle between the sexes. And I'll take you to one such grudge match right now. In this corner, 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 corner. Weighing in at 200 pounds, 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 with a record of 7,000 straight losses, 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 <laughs> is the man in this corner, weighing in at an undisclosed weight, 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 weight. That, that is not her fault due to a low metabolism and three pregnancies, pregnancies, pregnancies. <laughs> with a record of 10,000 straight wins, 3,000 of which the man's not even aware of, aware of, aware of, <laughs> is the woman. The woman will not tell the man why they're in the ring tonight. If he does not know, that is his problem. <laughs> Here are the rules. The man, being the physically stronger of the two, is not allowed to touch the woman. He can only use his strength to protect her. The woman, being the more verbally agile of the two, is allowed to rip the man to shreds. 
which is fine because he will not understand for up to three days, at which time he'll demand a rematch and lose again. <laughs> if the man insults the woman and hurts her in any way, he must apologize. If the woman insults the man, the man must apologize. <laughs> These are the rules. Remember that you love each other, and as the good book says, try not to let the sun go down on your anger, which means the man cannot sleep until he dies. <laughs> and fight. That's it for me. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Robert. Thank you. That was so funny. How'd you get into comedy? Uh, I was, I mean, a shy kid and just had that. My, I knew that my mind just went a different way than everybody else. And, and, and in class, you can go, well, what? I wasn't the smart, the class clown. But that's I was what I wanted to know. Were you the one that was cutting no. up all the time? Well, I was the class wit. Now, see, the class clown is the guy that puts underwear in his head and says he's Wedgie Jackson. Uh, I, I was the class wit, and I would just wait for the teacher to just have an opening, then boom, throw in a zinger. So I learned how to work. And my dad was very funny. He would work the room with, at family reunions, and I would watch him and go, that's what I want to do. When you do your comedy, one of the things that I think is very unique is that you only perform clean comedy. What made you decide to make your comedy wholesome, family-friendly? My, my mother is very strong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I was raised in the church, and you know I've, I've got that sensibility about me. And I just think I, I grew up on you know Bill Cosby and watching the Marx Brothers and Charlie Chaplin. And I just fell in love with that kind of comedy. And everybody says you know you, it's harder to be clean and be funny, but that's just who I am. I can't go against who I am and what I believe in. Well, I'm glad you are, are able to be true to yourself. You've got a movie that you have uh, put together. Tell me about it. Uh, it's, it's, well, I, I just thought that we, there are so many faith-based films that are just so darn serious that we need to laugh. We need to lighten the mood. Yes. And so this is a screwball comedy. I had a bunch of friends. We put on a show, and it's called Can I Get a Witness Protection? <laughs> uh, so, okay. Uh, <laughs> and it's, it's like Some Like It Hot or Sister Act where a, um, a guy's put in the Federal Protection Agency, and they put him in a church. They hide him there, and the very first day, the head pastor dies, and he has to take over. So a guy who knows nothing about... <laughs> Religion <laughs> has to take over a church. And so hijinks ensue, and of course, it's a faith-based story, so he slowly comes to faith as he's preaching and, and doing a horrible job doing it. So that's the movie. Well, I can't wait to see that. That's going to be fun. Oh, I, you know, and why is it that we don't understand how important it is to laugh and to have some fun with life? Well, it's, well everything you were talking about today is showing the division in our country, and yeah. we just need to lighten up and just know that it, it is like a, a daily dose of medicine, and anger dries the bones, and laughter is a good medicine. So on that, this coming week on Labor Day, I'm releasing, it's called Your Daily Dose, and every single day is a new comedy bit, and nothing political, just to have a good time, because we need that. We've got to, hopefully laughter can bring us back together. Uh, Robert, I think you're doing a great job of helping us do so that. Oh, Thank, you a pleasure. Very, Thank you so very, very much. Robert G. Lee. Let me tell you, folks, this guy will truly make you laugh till your sides hurt. You saw that here tonight. Why don't you check out his debut, Can I Get a Witness Protection? It's on Amazon Prime. You can also get his comedy DVD called Weisenheimer, as well as other great performance DVDs at robertglee.com.